Hello again, I'm Jane Hansen, and welcome to this edition of Politics New York, uh, Meet Your Candidates 2022, three questions in three minutes. And today we're talking with Ryder Kessler, who is running for a seat in the district that he actually grew up in, district, or was born in, let me qualify that, District 66, which is Lower Manhattan, the village, Soho, uh, NoHo, et cetera, um, a tech entrepreneur who now seeks political office. And what's so interesting is that you are running against a uh, longtime holder of the seat, Deborah Glick, who first uh, ran for office and won in 1990, was the first openly gay person elected to the state legislature. And here you are, a gay man running against her. So why run? Thank you so much for having me. Great question. And yeah, as you said, I was born in the district at St. Vincent's Hospital um, when I was five years old, growing up just north, north of the district on 18th Street. Deborah Glick was elected, and as a five-year-old uh, who ended up being a, a gay man in New York, it was meaningful that she was this pathbreaker, and I have a lot of respect for that. But the question now is, what are we doing to deliver for all New Yorkers, and especially marginalized New Yorkers like queer folks who need help? Um, and I decided to throw my hat into this race because I see crisis after crisis facing New York. We have the most expensive rental market in the country. We have the most segregated schools and neighborhoods. Uh, we have what seems like record rainfall every few weeks. We have this climate disaster, and we are not doing enough to rise to that challenge. The state assembly is was once the progressive bastion of energy in New York, but now the state Senate is where progressive ideas come from. And those legislation, those legislative ideas stall out in the assembly because we have a lot of folks who have been around for a really long time who are not fighting with the energy and vision that New York needs to have uh, the city and our neighborhood be affordable, equitable, and sustainable. So we need bigger solutions and bigger vision. And while I respect the fact that Deborah Glick was a pathbreaker, uh, New York and downtown Manhattan specifically needs more right now. So what's the first thing you would attack quickly? <laughs> yes, I think we need housing to be more affordable. And that starts with two things. One, more housing. New York has not kept up with the demand. We have made 100,000 new housing units for 500,000 new people in the last 10 years, a million fewer units in the last 50 years than in the 50 years before. And that has led to skyrocketing prices, a really dramatic increase in, in homelessness and a lot of displacement. We've lost 4.5% of our black population from 2010 to 2020 because we are pricing folks out of the city and out of their homes and onto the streets. So we need to build more housing while also empowering renters with good cause eviction and more financial support. And we need to end our broken congregate shelter approach to homelessness. Folks choose to sleep on the street in the subway because they don't feel safe in the shelters we offer. But if we replace those with safe havens and stabilization beds, folks would come in, they'd get a path to permanent housing, and they'd get health care and addiction services that they need. That's priority one. That's a lot to attack uh, right away. Quick question as we end. What's something about you that we don't know, but maybe we should? Sure. I mean, <laughs> I've had a really interesting career where I was a tech CEO for many years, helping low-wage service workers collect more credit card tips and nonprofits collect more donations. And I've spent the last five years helping Democrats win elections against Republicans uh, at the White House, Senate, and House level. But before that, I was in an English literature PhD. So you can see all these books behind me. I almost was an English professor teaching about 19th and early 20th century British and American novels uh, before I decided I wanted to have a more direct impact on helping advance equality and justice. But if you see me on the street, ask me about Edith Wharton. I'm always happy to talk about the House of Mirth. <laughs> okay, I will keep that in mind. Ryder Kessler, thank you so much for joining us. Good luck. Have fun in the campaign trail. And to Thanks all so of you, we'll see you next time.